Hi, I'm Antje Jones and today we're going to make, out of this blouse, we're going to make a waxed material cover. So instead of using cling wrap, which goes into the environment, into landfills and doesn't break down, uh, we're going to use cotton or some other material, this is cotton, and pure beeswax and pure beeswax is wonderful because it's it does have antibacterial properties and it's soft enough that when it gets warm you can mold it around an object like this bowl and it will hold its shape so basically instead of using cling wrap to cover something that's in this bowl i can just use this and then you can just Strain it out again, and if you want to cover something smaller, you can. So here's a beautiful blouse, because it, I don't know what happened when it was in the washing machine, it got chewed up, look at that. I was a bit disappointed because I'd spent time actually sewing nice little buttons on there. It was, it was a nice little blouse. Anyway, great cotton, nice pattern for a piece of waxed cloth. So I've marked out a nice big square so that if I have a big block of cheese or something, I can actually cover the whole thing. So all I have to do now is cut it out. You can either cut squares or you can cut circles. Or I guess you can cut any shape you want, really. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be perfect because really the edges aren't going to be the part that actually covers the food. One of the reasons why I'm making this now is because my husband Barry and I are going to be living on board a boat. And we're, selling, we're actually selling our house and if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see that I'm partly going through the renovations. Um, <clears throat> but living aboard a boat means that we have to be as environmentally aware as we can be and do what we can. So here's, uh, here's the square that I've cut out. And all we have to do now is put it onto a tray with some baking paper. Now, you see this is too big for this, but that's going to be okay. All I'm gonna do next is grate some of this beeswax onto the cloth enough that when it melts, it will soak through all of the cloth. Now, for the little square that I made, this took 10 grams, so you can see where I've grated off this area. Now this was originally a 140 gram bar, so you can see it's going to make a few of these different sized wraps. Because it's pure beeswax, it's not toxic, so I'm just going to use my ordinary grater. Hot soapy water will get this completely clean, and the beeswax is not toxic, so I don't have a problem with using my ordinary kitchen grater. Now you can, if you want to um, increase the antibacterial and antiviral content of the actual um, waxed material, you can put a little bit of coconut oil on here as well, which will get added into the mix. Some people add the oil to help it to become slightly more malleable but I found that by using a nice thin material it doesn't need an oil to make it more easily bendable. I'm definitely going to voice this over. <laughs> so I'm going to just fold this over and I'll pop it in the oven for a few minutes. It's all covered. Oh, 
Right, so now we'll just hang it up to dry. It's already going stiff, see? So here is some cheese. that will prevent the cheese from drying out. Isn't that great? So two pieces of baking paper, piece of material. Now this is actually um, Going to fit inside of the tin. I'm a, I am still using a baking tray because I just want to protect my um, surface. <laughs> and then you just get yourself a grater, and then you just basically you just grate enough so that when it's melted, it will soak into all of the material. Let's see how we go with this. So I've got. My iron's set to wool, so it's not really very hot, it's just hot enough to melt the wax. And just lightly run over it until all the wax is melted. Now it's already starting to harden, it's winter here, so <coughs> It's cooling very quickly, but as you can see, there's some wax left over on the edge, so you can just um, scrape that and put it where you need it. You can actually use the iron to push the melted wax around the um, around the material. It's really really helpful. So that's it. I can see through the baking sheet that um, the material is all coated now. So I'm going to peel it off before it sticks to the baking paper. And there you have it. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn this sleeve into a tube like this. going to cut it above just where the cuff is. So. Now it's a rough cut. Um, I can trim it again once it's been waxed. And then I'm going to cut it just underneath the arm here. Now obviously because this is a new blouse, it's really clean. If you had a blouse and it looked as if the arm area was discoloured, then you could cut it further down, but you'd still have a reasonable size little back. Now this um, is one of those blouses that has a button and um, a tie with it, so I'm going to take this off, I'm just going to snip it off. Snip this bit off. And now I'm going to lay it flat on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pile on a whole heap of wax and then I'll fold it over. Cover it with your baking paper. And give it a good iron. You can see it, see how it's melting, it liquefies. So you can push it with the iron where you want it to go. See? Um, I just like the idea of cat recycling material as well. So it's just something else that doesn't go into landfill. And just trim the edge of. So 
so there you have it. A rectangular pocket and a circle. I've got this in here. Keep it fresh. If you've enjoyed watching this video and you'd like to see more, please click on the like and subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell because that's what will notify you when a new video comes out. If you'd like to support me making these videos, please click on the Patreon button. This is Anshi Jones, thank you so much for watching, until next time, over and out.